On this episode, we are knocking out another guest bathroom. This one, we're going to go a little further in depth by installing new tile, customizing the current vanity to make it a little higher, and doing a wallpaper feature wall. I'm hoping this will inspire some design ideas for your future projects. Enjoy the video. So I put my membrane down. I did the Schutler Ditra membrane. I went ahead and laid out my tile for my design. As you can see there. Um, what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna put the waterproofing uh, band on here. So you see the seam here and the outside. Um, this is a hallway bathroom, which is rarely used. So I don't think it needs that extra protection. Um, but if you are, if this is like a main bathroom, I would suggest doing the uh, band. It's the Dietra band. And all you do is put your thin set and then lay the band and it will waterproof the entire bathroom. But the only reason um, I put this down is as an uncoupling membrane. So if you put this directly on the wood, you have the chance of the wood moving and cracking your tile. Since you have this membrane down here, it's got fabric on the back. Let's see if I can grab one. There's 
fabric on the back. This is your waterproofing. But this allows the whole thing to move independently of the wood and the tile. So you, you won't risk any kind of cracking for your tile. Um, another thing I've done is I painted the ceiling white. And where I tore this mirror off the wall, this was um, bare sheetrock. The paper was actually coming off. So I'm gonna have to put mud on this, but a good trick is to paint it white, or not white, but just paint it. And that will ensure when you put mud on this, it doesn't come through. Um, if you're familiar with it, paint it down here as well. If you see brown, the brown paper, and you put mud on it, it'll immediately bubble up. So the paint is pretty much just waterproofing it from the mud to allow you to get a clean, uh, clean reveal, clean surface. But what we'll do now is I'll keep cutting tile and we'll, uh, we'll tile this bathroom.
And we're finished with this bathroom. I think my favorite part was raising the vanity up. It definitely gets a good height now. Um, I'm six foot one and the last bathroom I did, I didn't raise the vanity and it's, I mean, it's just too low for me. Um, so this is perfect. Um, it was actually pretty inexpensive with just having to buy the top and reusing the old vanity. Um, I also really like the wallpaper wall. It's a little difficult to line up um, each section of wallpaper. Let's see if I can show you a seam. All right, here's a seam here. So you can line it up on top, but as you go down, I guess when it starts stretching, it's off just a bit. I mean, you really couldn't tell. Show you right here. Because up top, like it's perfect, but as you go down, I guess when you stretch, like I said, it goes off a little bit. But it's actually very, very nice looking and not noticeable at all where it does do that. Um, the floor came out great. We're actually going to use this same floor in another project we're, we're going to do. I have two more projects on the table right now. Uh, to be honest, this bathroom has been done for a while now. I just haven't had the motivation to finish this video. So I think this thing's probably been done for like three months. So I apologize. I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, but our next two projects are going to be one of them is going to be a really big project. I'm doing the master bath and I'm doing, it's a complete gut, heated floors. It's going to be a really cool project to see. And the other one's going to be a little bit different. Um, on my spare time when I'm not fixing up the house, I like working on mechanics and I'm fixing up a motorcycle from one of my wife's friends. So that'd be a, something different to watch how I work on motorcycles as well. So if you wouldn't mind, like, subscribe, and follow me, because I'm going to be uh, doing a couple more cool projects. So I'll see you all in the next one.